Les, les, les critiques, ils peuvent te dire oui, mais l'autre, il il, il, le gars, il n'a pas d'idée, donc il va copier dans le passé. Mais est-ce qu'une Golf ou une classe S, ce n'est pas une voiture rétro euh, C'est toujours le même concept et qui évolue euh, beaucoup. Les grandes marques ont toujours des classiques. Si tu vas chez Cartier euh, ou euh, chez Vuitton ou chez les grandes marques, ils ont toujours des classiques. Et ça, c'est nos classiques. Et ce n'est pas la peine de les laisser dans les musées. Je pense vraiment une marque populaire, pop, comme disaient les Anglais. Ça veut dire qu'on est dans le, dans le cœur du marché. On n'est pas dans, dans, dans l'entrée du marché. On est dans le, ça, c'est le rôle chez nous de Dacia. Nous, il faut qu'on soit au milieu du marché. Et on n'est pas en train de monter en gamme. On est en train de faire des voitures du segment C, des voitures que la famille normale achète, etc. Chose qu'on ne faisait pas quand je suis arrivé. On faisait 70% des volumes sur des voitures comme les Clio, les Twingo, etc. Et ça, malheureusement, ça ne gagne pas d'argent. Après, je n'ai pas d'argent, je ne peux pas payer les gens, je ne peux pas investir sur les technos. C'est pour ça qu'on fait ça. Well, actually, the world, as you say, is changing rapidly. The inflation on the product is real now. And what we can see at Dacia is uh, year to date, this year, we are growing 10% in a European market, which is decreasing 13%. It means that more and more people really make choices. They choose what is the essential for their consumption, and cars are part of it. And more and more people are choosing Dacia. Concerning electrification, I think nothing is black and white. Things are going to happen in London town, in Paris, in Berlin, way quicker than it's going to happen in the center of Spain, France, or let's say Poland, right? And us as a group, Renault Group, as a clear strategy, the front runner electric technology is Renault. And then you got Dacia coming behind with essential car light vehicles. Today we sell 12% of our sales full electric which is more or less like the market, by the way, with the spring. We also offer, also offer LPG, which is very popular, and low carbonation solutions. So if you just need a car, and you know, car sharing is, is you pay at the minute, you pay at the hour. Uh, for, same for ride sharing. So you don't have to bear all the expenses linked to the car, maintenance, etc., etc. So that's I do think that in the view of the fact that automotive is going full electric, it's going to be more expensive. Inflation of raw material is going to be more expensive. So for most people, it's easier to manage a budget if you just use the mobility means at the time you need for the specific needs you have at that period of time. And then you can do multimodal. You can sometimes use one or the other. The car, car industry has a lot of problems uh, until uh, the COVID crisis. Uh, the uh, semiconductor crisis and so and so and here in Europe uh, you have uh, a law uh, to stop uh, the commercialization of uh, thermal uh, vehicle in uh, 2045 so uh, car makers have to produce uh, only uh, electric cars but electric cars is uh, more expensive uh, 30 on, or 40 percent than uh, uh, thermal vehicles 
and uh, they have a big problem to commercialize it. So uh, here you have some banks uh, to help car makers to commercialize uh, uh, electric vehicles. To develop um, hydrogen in, um, in Europe and um, in America um, it's, it's not easy today because we have this problem of the cost of the hydrogen stations. And the solution that we bring is to develop a network of um, um, distribution of capsule through our own network, the CAPS network, through a CAP store uh, of, of this kind. Uh, the CAP store will be placed every more or less 40 kilometers, and this CAP store. The, the cost of the infrastructure costs 50 to 100 times less than the cost of implementing um, hydrogen station. I think that new companies that are launching their project in um, like EV cars or hydrogen cars, they, they choose the premium segment because to absorb, to um, implement a new technology costs a lot of money and it's easier to, to aim a premium uh, range uh, to, um, uh, to, to finance this, 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 de uh, this development. Ça va. 